What's really important for me in discussing DEI positions is to always ground this in terms of what the jobs actually are, because what we saw in 2020 was a groundswell reaction to the public saying, we need diversity positions in all of these places and spaces, and there wasn't a real understanding of what these jobs actually were by the executives that were hiring them. Mm -hmm. Something that is, it was always surprising to me, right? You get in there and the very foundation of your role is to question everything. Your job is to really help an organization see the benefits of diversity. And in order to do that, you literally have to understand every aspect of this of the business. And you have to identify what parts of the processes or policies are exclusive. What is actually preventing this organization from reaping the benefits of diversity? And what that means is it puts you directly in the line of fire for criticizing the entire existence of an organization. So every day it's it's a battle, right? You show up, you're asking questions, you're probing, you're prompting, you are redesigning, you're rewriting, you're rewiring. And that's often met with a level of defensiveness. So what happens is you had a ton of incredibly gifted and, and smart diversity professionals stepping into these jobs where they were looking to rewrite, rewire, redesign everything. And all of a sudden, there's a realization of, oh, this is the job that I hired. I didn't realize I was hiring someone to come in and really challenge the very foundation that my entire organization was based on. So, you know, within the academy, when I joined in 2020, I will say I joined at a very different time. We, our COO was a Black woman, the CEO, a, a woman as well. And I got a lot done really quickly, really quickly, because you also have to prove yourself in these jobs. You have to hit the ground running because the second you don't demonstrate value to the business, and that means saving money, increasing viewers to the Oscars, really tangible metrics of success your job is on the line. So it was incredibly challenging, I will say, to, to rise to the occasion and show up. But I think in 2020, a lot of great foundational work was done. And fast forward to a few years later, when the realization that, oh, uh, these individuals are changing everything starts to come in, it's, it's now a threat. You have now become a threat to the very organization that you were looking to to save and uplift in your efforts. And that's when it gets really hard. Do you take on and stay in a position where you say, I'm okay being performative or the face of? I know personally I cannot. I know many Black women, many who are pictured right here right now, who also cannot do that. That's not how we were raised. That's not how we exist. We cannot exist to our core to simply show up and say what we're doing. We need to be empowered to do that. And that changed in 2023.